so the babies are actually sleeping right now so let's take a look at them <laughs> So what is up there YouTube? So today right we will be actually giving you guys another update on the beta area here. So I'm really sorry that this place here is gonna be kind of messy right behind me right but then I'm still not actually done with the balcony area so the pond is right behind me and then if you guys want to see another update on the pond right do leave a comment down below and I will give you guys another update on how the pond is going but it's still the circuit breaker period so basically I cannot really go out and buy a lot of stuff I'm still needing another light for that pawn and stuff like that so that's kind of annoying for me not to be able to get a lot of things done but then we will pull through and we will thrive on and hopefully aim for first June where everything will open up once and for all Right, so for you guys who have never seen the previous video before, right, so I've left a link up below. So basically, I've done a video on the beta rack and then the beta collection that we have over here in the balcony area. So then right behind me, right, we were actually having a koi beta pawn out here. So the best way to actually get like koi betas out there, right, is instead of buying all the koi betas myself, right, I was thinking of why not to actually breed my own so this is why I use this entire period and then I get a couple of um, females and then I get a couple of males and then I try this whole breeding thing myself so apparently it's successful though so I've gotten a pair to start breeding so today right I will be sharing with you guys a couple of tips and tricks to make your breeding of your beta fish much more successful so before we actually start with the entire breeding tips and so forth, right? So uh, like you guys can see, you guys find this t-shirt very familiar, right? So I basically stolen this from our, technically not really stolen, but then yeah, I've got this from one of our main sponsors, Supreme Coral. So this is one of their uniforms that they have here. So just for fun of it and just wear them out, yeah. So okay, let's head back to our topic for today. So in terms of breeding beta fish. So betas are like one of the easiest, easiest fish to breed by far I've ever tried. So it's pretty darn simple. It's just add a male, add a female, and then after that, then they will actually do the magic themselves. So today I'll be giving you guys some tricks on why you actually didn't have a success or didn't manage to breed them, right? So I'll give you guys a couple of things that I've been through as well, things that actually um, hinders me in terms of um, getting them to breed and all the stuff. So the first thing to take note So one of the things that I noticed even for myself, right? So it's the pairing part So the pairing part is the toughest part of the entire breeding process So what I did was I should add the male in first and then after that, then the female later on, right? So I've learned this thing through a couple of experiments, right? And this is what I noticed after that. So what I did was actually I have a big tub like a small little Tupperware and then after that, I will do the water prior to when I first add the meal in. So basically, I will keep the water overnight and then I'll add in the almond leaves into the water. And then once I get the water to be tinted with that very nice golden color of it, right, that's where I add the meal in. So after adding the meal in, right, so what I usually do is, um, I'm still an essential worker, so I still need to go back to work. So what I usually do, I will try to do this a day before I go back to work. And then after that, right, the day... The first day when I go back to work, right, so what I do is actually I put the male into the Tupperware and then after that I put the female in the same area but instead of putting it with the male, right, so what I did was actually I put him in another small container inside the Tupperware. So basically you can let the male see the female and the female see the male but then they don't have a physical contact between the both of them. So I leave them in there for the next couple of days until my next off day. So what happened was you will notice during that day, right, the both of them will get to know each other. So it's basically like a little courtship, a little blind date where they can see each other through a screen and then but then they cannot physically touch each other. So how I actually know that they are ready, right? So take a look at the male. So it depends on the male. So sometimes, right, so I usually leave like one floating leaf inside there and just for the male to actually go ahead and build his bubble nest. So the thing that I notice about it, right, so if the male is really ready, right, so 
first couple of days you do see them flaring at each other and stuff like that but then after that onwards right you will see that your meal will start to build its bubble nest and if it's really really ready right you will see that the bubble nest is huge and thick so once you see that it's done right so what i do is on the first day of my off day so on the first day of my off day i will let them out i'll let the female out and then let them have their first chance to be together and then to just get to know each other so usually for this right once i get this done right so chances are they tend to start to first one day or so they will chase each other stuff and that onwards but then the second day third day i noticed that the female will start to go under the bubble nest so when you see the female going under the bubble nest checking the bubble nest out right chances are it's you are almost there already so i would leave them there like this until the point where you see the female started to go away from the bubble nest so if you see that happens right in between you will see them doing that that, that, that coy midship thing and then once they are done with it for about one or two days right you will see the male will actually chase her out so the female will usually be like far away from the bubble nest so once you see that right that's the indication that you should pull the female out already so that's what i do as well i'll pull the female out and i'll just leave the male to take care of the bubble nest and then probably usually that one take about what two three four days right so that will go back to my next working day already so i will usually leave just the male and the nest in the tupperware from during my whole off i um, sorry working day period and then once i'm back from work usually what i do see is i will start to see little fries already and that shows that sums up the whole breeding process of a beta fish it's pretty darn simple it's just something that you can do at your home especially during this period of time right where everything is closed right you have all the time you have at home and then it's a good thing to give a try it's pretty fun it's pretty interesting so yeah so i've got my first batch of um, my fries so basically after about four days later on after the courtship right you will start to see the little fries start to hatch already so still leave the male inside because the male still need to take care of them so only once you see that the entire tupperware right you don't see any bubbles anymore that is the time to remove the meal and the fry should be able to take care on their own already so during that process right be very careful do not startle the meal because if you do startle the meal right chances are is you will tend to scare him away uh, so you'll scare him and then what happened is that later on you will have an issue with um you will have an issue with the meals eating up the fry so that's not something that you don't really want for it to happen so yeah so it's pretty done simple so after that right once the fries are hatched by the next day okay i would just keep it two days later you can start feeding the fries with um for me i use baby brine shrimp so for the next upcoming video right on this whole process right, i will show you on how we harvest brine shrimp how we get brine shrimp how we harvest brine shrimp and then how we feed brine shrimp to the babies so I believe I've summed up episode 1 for our beta breeding story. So it's then simple, you can give it a try if you have a beta fish, a male, a female, right? Or if you want to get a male, female, right, do drop me a DM or leave a comment down below in the Instagram page, right? If you want to get a male, uh, probably a female because I think I'll have more females by then on. So if you want a female and you already have a male, you want to try breeding, right, do let me know and I will be happy enough to send you one out if it's yeah if you are in singapore yeah feel free why not yeah i that's the whole main purpose of the females just to fill up the pond behind me so yeah so stay tuned for next couple of episodes right so next coming week i will be showing you guys on how i actually harvest brine streams how i actually get brine streams to um how to harvest them how to grow them how to culture them and how to feed them to your fries so aside from our little small um koi breeding beta project right so we will be having a new tank coming up real soon. So I've gotten all the equipments, all the stuff from Reef Market SG already. So I'm pretty excited to get the whole thing started on. But then the tank is not here yet. But I will give you guys like a small step by step by step on this whole new tank build. I'm going to call this new tank build like a COVID tank build. So it's something that we do during this circuit breaker period to just give you guys a whole run through from the tank looking dry to the equipments the run through of the equipments all the way to filling it up with water and then the scape and then the first coral going the first fish going it's going to be damn excited and it's a very very big project that is um 
done via the studio here as well as our partners on Supreme as well as Reef Market SG for all the equipment that they provided for us. But then I will see you guys next week for another video. Same thing. If you like this video, you have any questions on breeding, on culturing, on um, equipment, right? Do leave comments down below. Go to our Instagram page. Check out our Instagram page. Drop me a DM like how you guys usually do, right? I will be very happy to answer most of your questions. But until then, I will see you guys next week. And stay safe. And I will see you guys soon.